Hello, hello, hello. I would like to show you my uh, city, which is really big and has 200,000 population. So this is my Caesar Free City. I finally designed a block which helped me to exceed 200,000 uh, population and I reached 206,000. And this is my city. I will uh, go through the, some details of the design of the city. I will uh, show you design of house or of one single block. And I will go through the through some details. Uh, first details are options which I use. I'm not using the vanilla version of Caesar Free, but I run on August 2.0.1 and here I use two key uh, settings. First one is enable global labor pool. Thanks to that I don't have to build uh, houses next to the farms and other uh, buildings which needs labor and another is all houses merge uh, all houses merge is important here uh, because uh, every, every house it doesn't um, matter on the size it has consumption of 24 pottery per year. So, one by one has the same consumption as two by two. But this one uh, can eat for as many times uh, people. Uh, another interesting option which I use here are Grand Temples, which provide me bonuses like Temple of Neptunus which provides with, with extra range for fountains and two extra range for reservoirs and also a breeze expand housing capacity by 5% uh, but actually this extra capacity for the housing uh, doesn't work properly as you are able to see there is extra room for 4 but uh, no extra people are coming. Uh, I'm not sure if this bug is somehow related to the Neptunus or uh, the too huge population because I noticed that around 200,000 uh, there are no more immigrants coming to the city. As you are able to see no immigrants are coming to the city. So we can uh, jump to the details about a block design. The size of the block is 20 tiles times 79 as you are able to this is, uh, the block and uh, for the left part I used a more or less mirror uh, block which is uh, again 20 times 79 tiles the main idea uh, behind uh, the block design is it has two parts, one is for services and industry and another is for living or houses. But for the houses, especially large houses, I need quite high desirability. For this reason, I elevated the floor map as you are able to see on the edge or these edges, the whole map is elevated by uh, 
one level on these edges. I believe it's some bug or feature of the game, there is no elevation. And it's the reason why this ID, uh, I designed the length of the block to be 79 tiles because of the length of the map or the map is 160 times 160 and as this star is not used for the elevation uh, it's left here uh, similarly the very last uh, block is shorter or it's a bit it's lower by one tile as you are able to see the very last uh, houses are just one by one, not like here, one by two. And also there is missing this last uh, row of houses. So let's go for design of the block. The living part or the housing part is 20 times 46. And in the housing part you can see there are two reservoirs. Uh, water is provided by this single water tile on their side. And from the other services there is one forum uh, for the taxing the people uh, because I need at least some income to build a city. Uh, I need very low taxes. As you are able to see I have only two percent and uh, still I have very nice income but still very high unemployment. Uh, other services in the center there are engineering posts, uh, some doctors, prefectures, there is prefecture and there are the last two and also I use some services uh, from the uh, industrial and services part like these prefectures are just to provide some extra security for these houses this prefecture is more or less for these houses uh, I designed a very stable block so I produce extra bead as well as extra pottery uh, because I wanted to use the extra room which is provided by Grand Temple of Neptune but sadly it's a fact I thought about elevation ah okay we can jump to the services and industrial part uh, I believe you are more or less familiar with force walker. Uh, it's the ideal like for theater. You can see there is a actor who will return to the theater to one of these two tiles. Okay. He will return in a while. Oh, okay, he disappeared. And now he will reappear in one of these two tiles. Version A. Ah. And now he will walk or wander, wander for a while and then he will try to return to theater. So, he goes from one of these two tiles and he has to return to one of these tiles. So, he has to walk through the whole city and provide theater access to all the houses in the city block. Uh, it holds for the all services buildings. Uh, there is some small uh, exception for the markets uh, because market ladies they again for the very first market 
Until we left the market on one of these two towers and returned to one of these two towers. For the lady which distributes the goods and foods, but for the supplying lady she lives one on one of these two tiles and also she returns to one of these two tiles. So you can realize it's super quick. She can resupply the market once the supplies are low, she resupplies very quickly. And also similar for the warehouse taxes. Um, maybe I can talk a little bit for, about the pottery. There are five clay pits as you are able to see and ten uh, pottery workshops which provides more than enough uh, pottery for large cases which, I, which are two by two. And uh, okay, there is uh, 20, oh no, 32 farms in the main part, it's 4 times 8, and there are 3 additional farms. Farms also provide a little bit more food there, it's needed to feed all the people in the city, and uh, these blocks are covered by some uh, prefecture as well as engineering holes that you are able to see there prefectures on each end of the road except the pottery where it's in the middle and uh, there are engineering uh, okay there's also one uh, prefecture which is that just for these two houses because they get they caught fire quite often And uh, the engineering post, there is extra road tile next to first three granaries and some engineering spots also on the other side, some other... Okay, there, is, ah, there are some empty tiles which I can use for housing, but it uh, doesn't matter because the immigrants are not coming, so it's a glitch that you are able to see. So this was structure of the block, as you are able to see uh, the blocks on the left side has the same size and are similar but adjust the mirror. And as I mentioned, uh, desirability provided by the plaza and extra elevation of the whole map. Because large castles need uh, more uh, desirability than I was thinking, so I elevated the whole map. Okay, it was about the block design and now we can jump to this city, as you are able to see, when I built new uh, housing, the people will come. And soon the how this evolved and merged. But uh, now we will go and we start using the pottery and we will see the huge change in the city. How it change from uh, small castles to large castles and they get extra capacity and then we get extra population very soon thanks to the proximity of warehouse to markets it was super quick and almost all market ladies provides pottery almost in stuff and the stream of new immigrants okay I will speed it up because still quite far from our 
maximum of 50 and when we reach around 200,000 you will see there will be no more immigrants okay 10 more thousands uh, you can also notice in January there is a huge leap okay as you are able to see because the a lot of new Borns uh, were born, or new population was born, but still the immigrants are coming. Another fork in November, December, and again January, immigrants are coming, and once we exceed around 200,000, uh, there are no more immigrants. So I'm not sure if this bug is uh, related more. To the uh, temple of Neptune or too high uh, population or too bold and now you will see in we will still reach another or get another 6,000 population just when they get born in all the large castles like now we get three and in one or two years we get another three thousand population okay um uh, yeah now are just January and what else? Huh. Okay, we are here. So that's probably everything from the video. Uh, if you have some questions about uh, structure of the blog or design or some other questions I believe you can ask in the comment section as I'm not youtuber I will try to answer it as soon as possible and at the very end I would like to thank some people and for which provide me entertainment or ideas or just interesting or related Video. Uh, I apologize for the pronunciation if it's wrong. Uh, first one is Caesar Free Heaven Community, which provides a lot of information. I would like to thank Katsumi, uh, his guy who introduced me into fourth wall colors and the mega blocks design. Uh, I will also put all our related links or which I found related in description. I would like to thank uh, Caesar Philon. I believe he's the first one who built a mega block and he also built 90,000 uh, population mega city. I would like to thank Caesar Allen, who is another amazing vista designer of cities and blocks and provided me a lot of data which I used like uh, water consumption per year, uh, food consumption uh, per occupant, also I get some data or check if it works properly, this means this uh, reduce consumption and works properly. Like one occupant needs only not six food per year but only 4.0 I would also like to thank the gamer Zach who introduced me into modes of Caesar 3, Julius and Augustus as I'm running this on Augustus he also built some mega city I would like to thank Bianca Scheich for building Julius which is um, the mode which is the main mode for the Caesar 3 
extra thank you for Bianca and I would like to thank Kiryu or Kiryu I, I apologize for pronouncing and he built the current mod Augustus and I would like to thank all the members of the community so I believe that this is everything from me just enjoy the view of the city goodbye